change with the coming of sound, and she really had a problem, and it was obvious that they were not going to be able to carry her. Haven't you ever had a girl back home that you used to hold close in your arms and kiss sometimes? I thought so. Couldn't you shut your eyes and pretend I'm, I'm, uh... All right, good. She wasn't going to be able to carry the studio any longer financially. Compete with the worst sound film at the box office. Before MGM made Garbo's first talkie, they prepared her for more than a year. Clara Bow has only two weeks of preparation for the undistinguished gives her. Wild Party is the story of a college girl living the party life at school. Save your strength, Samson. You may need it. She is reformed by the love she has for her professor. You mean you hate me? Yes. I hate you and I love you. I hate you for what you've been and I, I love you for what you could be. Will be, Gil. Clara's behavior behind the scenes can no longer be buried by the studio. Hey, how many guys are you in love with, anyway? One. You. Why, two minutes ago, you were getting patched with me. And if it wasn't me, it would be somebody else. You couldn't love anyone. She was like a little girl, really. There was something every, every damn day with Clara. She was so innocent, so vulnerable. She had no protection at all. In 1931, a disgruntled assistant publishes a scandalous pamphlet exposing Clara Bow for having numerous affairs. She was an enormously big star for a long time, and she did get, unfortunately, some publicity that was not the best of situations at that time. That being, that being. Of the kind that's always on my mind And they're the very meanest kind That's the blues my naughty sweetie gives to me Clara Bow is the first natural sex symbol A woman who doesn't have to work at it She just has to enjoy it Producer B.P. Schulberg bills her As the hottest jazz baby in films She was really the personification of the Fitzgerald jazz baby the times were changing, and she was a perfect vehicle for it. Clara was a young woman who didn't have a very good background. As long as she brings in the box office, the studio protects her. And she is now Hollywood's self-proclaimed it girl. She really was pulling Paramount along for much of the 20s. So as a result, people were afraid to rein her in, either on the screen or off the screen. In a day.